Hey folks, we're on our way to Umstead Park again. We are going to do a short uh, two and a half mile trail called Sal's, Sal's Branch Trail. It's 2.5 miles. We'll have a little bit extra to added to that because I'm gonna take a little side hike to the campgrounds and go around that loop and check that out. Um, I have to do a bunch of short trails for the next week or two because uh, I'm breaking in some ultras, zero drop uh, trail runners. Um, and I don't want to burn up my calves any more than I have to. So leaving the visitor center, it's right around the back right corner, is the trailhead. Red circles are the blades. Lots and lots of roots on this very first section. And then it goes right over a little back access road. Looks like extra parking area. Pretty much all uphill to here and pretty much nothing but roots. So I'm gonna go check out the campgrounds. It should just be right down here and then a loop and then I'll be right back to the trail. I just came off of the campground spur off of Sal's Branch Trail and as you can see there is no one camping today. In fact I noticed that the <clears throat> I noticed that the uh, gate on the road was closed. Wasn't sure why exactly. I just went to the website to see if I could find any information and it says that it's closed for maintenance. I don't really see any maintenance happening, but who knows. Anyway, I will stop in at the visitor center on the way back to the Jeep and see if I can find out what the schedule is this year so that Rita, I, and Layla the puppy and make some plans to come out here and hang out. This will probably be our breaking in location for Layla to figure out how to jump up in the hammock with me and take a nap and that sort of thing. But I'm just going to walk around the park or walk around the campground loop and then get back onto the campground spur back to Sal's branch. That looks like some maintenance maybe required. Tent pad, broken firing. It's like a tiny little amphitheater down here. Not a bad place to do a little training or music entertainment space. Okay, we're done with the campsite loop. Uh, it looked to be about 20 or 30 campsites there. I'll verify that on the website or at the visitor center.
been hiking for about a mile and a half and I cannot believe I just now realized that I don't have my trekking poles. <laughs> no idea how. How did I not notice that until now? Pretty sure they're in the Jeep and I didn't lay them down somewhere. The trail is really nice. A lot of pine needle uh, cushiony surfaces on the flats. Uh, when you're going up and downhill, it's probably the most rooty trail I've ever been on. So the comments on some of the trail apps were accurate to that point. And also, it is rather uneventful. It would be nice for a little stroll or what I'm using it for just to work in some shoes. Try not to hold this camera up my nose. I had to throw away a whole bunch of footage yesterday because holding my hand up <laughs> for very long is not good. So maybe I should just use my stamina of being able to hold the phone up as an indicator that I'm talking too much. And on that note, I'll check in later. picnic table is giving me an opportunity to take a few minutes breaks and also I left with my watch and my phone from the house pretty low powered so I figured I'll sit here have a snack and power up my devices a little bit. Great place for a picnic. By the way, the weather report for today is, I think it's around 65 degrees high today. Uh, and about, and if you can hear it, there's pretty windy today, about 15 mile an hour winds, 14 mile an hour winds, something like that. mention that there's roots on this trail like a lot of roots on this trail <laughs> yeah okay, just past that little parking area behind the visitor center and directly across from the trail that I came out of it looked like the trail continued but so far I haven't seen any trail markers so that's just something to note Maybe officially the trail is only from the back parking lot. I don't know. Or I just went up the wrong section or went up the wrong way, but either way you can see the visitor center. So it doesn't really matter. This definitely was not the right way. Yep. 
there they are. So I did get back to the visitor center right at five o'clock. So the door wasn't locked yet. And I walked in and asked the um, lady at the counter about the campground site. They said that it's going over a major renovation and will be closed all year. So I will have to find a different campground to train the puppy to jump in the hammock. Um, of course I could do that during day camps too, which I can do pretty much anywhere. Anyway, uh, pretty good hike. I got 3.6 miles total. Um, heart rate stayed pretty low most of the time. Um, Hope you're enjoying the content. If you do, consider giving me a subscribe and like and comment and uh, do all the, the YouTube things. Until next time, don your backpack and take a hike. Thanks for watching.